All right, Byron Horton here with XOP, and Brock and I today are gonna break down some of the pluses, minuses of both the cold world and the retrograde. Now, obviously, these are two new stands, but I think Brock and I can break some things down for you guys who are debating between the two as which to go with. Brock, why don't you talk about the retrograde, what you like about it, where you think it wins over the cold world? So the biggest win I think that this one has is the packability factor. So when you're carrying this thing out, it fits within your back profile. So as you're walking through the woods, you don't have a lot of things catching. Yeah, it's got a very narrow top. So when you're carrying it, it does not stick off the, the, the shoulder profile. Yep, yep. The other thing is when you're hanging this stand, just the lightweight nature of it makes it really easy. So you can get it up in the tree really fast, get it hung and it's set ready to go real quick. Yeah. Another thing I will give the retrograde like a positive on is for the saddle guy, the hybrid hunter, right? If you if you want to saddle hunt, that platform becomes significantly bigger when you start leaning and, and are able to do things that a saddle hunter can do over, say, a traditional tree stand. Yeah, exactly. uh, where I feel like the cold world shines is it does a lot of things really well. The utility knife, right? It can be the after work mobile hunt. It can be the rut hunt that you're going to sit three quarters of the day, all day sits. Um, really, I feel like you get a lot of platform space for the, the weight once you stand up because it is a, a little bit wider than other stands in, in that seven pound range. Um, I think honestly, that's about it. I think that those, those qualities are really where these ones shine is this one's going to give you a lot more space, a lot more real estate, which I think works well, like you said, for, for longer hunts, but still very packable. Um, it's only a pound and a half more than this stand, so you're not you're not sacrificing a whole lot by moving up to that bigger platform. Um, but I do believe that like the versatility of this one is just a little bit better when it comes to packability and just the ease of use too. So. Yeah, and I could say the cameraman special, that stand being so small, it's easier to hang. Mm -hmm. And a lot of cameramen are going to that saddle uh, style harness because they can move around the tree. Yep, yep, that could sure. be a very, very good tool for a yep, cameraman yep, stand. Well, cool, Brock. Guys, if you have any other questions, leave us a comment and we will get back to you if you have a point you're asking. Brock and I, you know, we're pretty experienced in these stands. Thanks for watching.